Let's see. Ah. Welcome. I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in... Um, three or four months. What? <laughs> Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? Um... Well, let's see what I can get from this. What do you do here, Nor? I'm one of the Consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the Consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. Uh, I don't know if I want to ask this question. They sound like hookers. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in... Mm, mm, three or four months. <laughs> okay. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Yes, of course, mistress. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Okay. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Interesting. You make it look inconspicuous by sprinting through your concourse. Hello. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. Good for him. I hope he doesn't get shot. Take that little marker off. Hello. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Really? Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. Sure, why not? What exactly do you want me to tell? Appeal to a sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. You got really close. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Hmm. Okay. I'll try to make amends for you. He was where now? In a bar? I'm gonna assume she said the lounge. Can I go to the journal? Yeah, look at that. In the lower wards, okay. Those were over here. Blinkies. All right, let's head that way. Whoops, no, don't do that. Just whip out a gun in the middle of a room. Oh, I bet he's unsure. 
He didn't put on the correct deodorant this morning. Oh, 90s commercial reference. I find it very odd that these things are labeled to financial district, yet you can still select them. Oh! Because they'll tell you what's over there. Shh, duh. God, I keep talking before I actually experience something. Working my way in a rut. It's awesome. To the wards. Excellent. Believe this was it? Yes. Hmm. Apparently I can't get in there yet. You must talk to the council. Okay. Well, I'm assuming I get to the council through one of these fast travel stations. I hope. Because I don't remember seeing the council on my map. Oh, Citadel Tower. That's where it was. Whoops. Why does... What am I clicking on to bring that up? So weird. Uh, I don't know where any of these other fast travel stations take me yet. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 2. You are standing near the base of the Citadel Tower, one of the Presidium's most recognizable and important structures. Behind me is the spectacular Relay Monument, a scale model representation of a Prothean mass relay. To your left is one of the Keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working on a control panel. You may see Keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. The Keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. Holy crap. I'd like to know more about the Keepers. Little is known about these peaceful servants of the Citadel, though they are essential to the operation and maintenance of the entire station. Citadel regulations protect the Keepers against interference during the performance of their tasks. Failure to comply will result in harsh penalties. Keepers can be seen in all sections of the Citadel, but are typically found in and around the Tower. Good question. Why the Tower? Any particular reason there are so many Keepers in this area? The Keepers do not communicate with other species. It is assumed, however, that the Tower houses the Citadel's primary control systems. Many of the station's systems, such as navigation and life support, function automatically. It is believed the Keepers operate those systems from inside the tower's inaccessible core. The Keepers also make frequent appearances in the Council Chamber itself, though they appear to be just passing through on their way to some other destination. Hmm. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. It's kind of interesting. They don't communicate with other species, yet they're constantly working on stuff. Makes me think they're like data gatherers. Tried to make that a smooth turn transition, but that didn't work. Trust Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. <laughs> the 
This is a tall tower. I like the elevator music though, that's pleasant. Okay. Hello. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. I hope so. Glad to know it's not a Turian thing, it's just a... distrust of human thing. That they don't trust me. Because I'm human. I'm gonna keep talking until this makes sense. I should stop now. Oh, well, you're interesting. All these interesting alien species. Don't be ridiculous. The Bolas won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push, and you can bet the Bolas will be right on their coattails if they succeed. Allowing the humans to join us is a sound strategic move. But the Bolas? No. The Hanna are likely to be next, then the Elcor. They're arguing about stuff. Rapid transit. A keeper that's not doing anything. He looks asleep. Hmm. Hey, it's the captain. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. Hmm. Do I get angry or ask a question? Screw you, you're a douche. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. Saren's hiding behind his position as a Spectre. You need to open your eyes. What we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? <sighs> wow, this like totally failed really fast. You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. 
I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. Well, that sucked. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Hmm, good question. What is your history with him? Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here, but I know what he's like, and he has to be stopped. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Yes. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. Yeah, that is true. Don't talk badly about my captain. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago. I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience, no hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Wow, <laughs> so would I. No, I wouldn't. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes oh, them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Hmm. Yeah. So, some reason I've heard that before somewhere. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. Uh, I don't think I will, but thanks. Uh, that looks like a door over there. Uh, that terminal's broken. You're not really doing anything. Neither is this door. That's probably what you're working on. How do I get out of here? Okay. I got it. That guy's up to something. What? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Yeah, chill, dude. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. Alright. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. 
I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. True. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Uh, I'm curious too, but I don't want to get in trouble either. Uh, what the hell? I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. Hmm. Interesting. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. Good point. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. <laughs> Nobody around. Oh, that's it? <laughs> that was easy. Just gotta make sure nobody's nearby. Shouldn't be too hard. I doubt that hologram will turn me in. I like that fountain. Looks neat. Hmm, convenient. Can't go that way, though. Sweet! More elevator music. Oh, you messed up my dance. I can't believe the council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren is one of their best operatives. It's only natural they take his word for ours. Oh. So now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his Geth troopers. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. Okay, I'm gonna stop that now. Another keeper. I'm going to scan you. Okay. Awesome. Please do not disturb the keepers. Okay, no problem. I've told you before, you're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right to move freely through this area. You're creating a public disturbance. It's against Citadel regulations. This one is unsure why the other would not wish word of the Enkindlers to be spread. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Uh. <laughs> oh, some of these options are awesome! Are there laws being broken? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Hmm. Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. 
This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. <laughs> you do now. 150 credits? This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. You're welcome. Whoa, he just, like, poof, he was gone. There, he's gone now. I see the Hanar has left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Aw, he just gave me gel. I was hoping he'd give me my 150 credits back. Uh, oh well. There was something I was going to give to somebody. Oh, the assault rifle to Ashley. Transfer upgrades, yes. Okay. Nobody's around. Okay, we're good. Now I can go to the wards. There's two people down here I can deal with. Squad? Ooh, I leveled! Unlock sniper rifles, yes! Assassination. Next shock will inflict 50% damage. Hell yeah! Increase accuracy by 10%. Dude, how do you skip that? What's dampening? Uh, proximity mines. Increases healing abilities. Oh, good lord, that's not... Wow, that's way up there. Um... New dialogue options. Sure, why not? And then we'll get a little bit of sniper. Awesome. Usual readings. Oh, that. Oh, that's the thing I figured out. Scan the keepers. Three out of twenty-one. Ah. So I've got to find all the keepers in here. Interesting mission. Um. Can I get out of that? Thank you. Investigate Saren. Garrus. There's somebody else down here I needed to shut up. 